Okay, this is the new unit in Algebra 2. This is Unit 7. It's called Polynomial Functions Operations. And this is Lesson 1. It is called Factoring the Sum and Difference of Cubes. So this is a very fast lesson. It's only one page front and back. Um, one definition to start. A perfect cube A perfect cube is the result of multiplying a number by itself three times. In other words, it is a number that has an exact cube root. So, for example, 1 is a perfect cube because it equals 1 times 1 times 1. We talked about some of this already. 8 is a perfect cube because it equals 2 times 2 times 2. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. Then 64, 4 times 4 times 4. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, and so on. So I listed them up to 1,000. I mean, the more you memorize, the easier it will be for you. Um, I think you're probably familiar with the first five, at least. Um, but yeah, try to memorize these. They'll make it much easier for you going forward. Now, there are special rules for factoring the sum and difference of two cubes. Sum means addition, remember, and difference means subtraction. So these are the two rules that you really should try to memorize. And it, it's not that bad to memorize these. So for, I'll show you some tricks, okay? They're very similar, the two of them, first of all. Okay, they're very similar. But the first, the first one says a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. That's the sum of two cubes. And the difference of two cubes, a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b times a squared plus AB plus B squared. So here are the tricks to memorize these. Okay? The first sign is the same. Okay, the first sign is the same. So this one is A cubed plus B cubed. So that's A plus B, the same sign. This one is A cubed minus B cubed. So this is A minus B, the same sign. The second sign is different. Okay. So this one's a cubed plus b cubed, so it's minus a b. This one's a cubed minus b cubed, so it's plus a b. And the last term is always positive for both of them. You can see they're both plus b squared. Okay, positive, positive. Example one, factor each completely. So we have the sum of two cubes, okay? Because x can be thought of as x times x times x. I mean, x cubed is x times x times x. So x cubed is a perfect cube because it's x times x times x. And 64 is a perfect cube because it's 4 times 4 times 4. Okay? So let me factor it now according to the rule above. A cubed plus B cubed equals A plus B. So this is like your A. Your A is X, your B is 4. So when I factor this, it's going to become X plus 4. Okay. A plus B, X plus 4. X, A squared, in this case, will be times X squared. Just think of your x equals your a and your 4 equals your b. Minus a times b. So minus 4 times x. It looks better writing it like that than writing it as x times 4. And then plus b squared. So plus 16. Now you do have to be careful now. You have to look, look at your expression that you just wrote and see if you can factor any more. In other words, can you find two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to negative 4? 
No, you cannot. So this is the final answer right there. Do another one, a little more difficult. 8x cubed is a perfect cube because it equals 2x times 2x times 2x. If these are not perfect cubes, you cannot do this problem, obviously. And 27 is a perfect cube because it's 3 times 3 times 3. So now let me factor it according to the rule above, a plus b. So 2x plus 3. Now here comes the hard part, I think. It says a squared. So the question is, what is 2x squared? That means 2x times 2x. So it means it's 4x squared, okay? 2x times 2x is 4x squared right there. Minus a times b. So minus 6x. 2x times 3 is 6x. Plus b squared. So plus 9. And see if you can factor. If you were to do 4 times 9, you get 36. Can you find two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to negative 6? No. Okay, so next page. Again, you... I'm not going to keep flipping back and forth to the front. I'm going to be using this formula, though. Okay? I'm going to be using this formula for this one. Because this one is the difference of two cubes. Okay? Because x cubed is a perfect cube because it equals x times x times x. You don't have to write this in the beginning, but I think it's very helpful if you do. And 216 is a perfect cube because it equals 6 times 6 times 6. So I'm going to factor it to a minus b. So x minus 6. Again, I'm using the formula from the front page. Times a squared, which is going to be times x squared, plus a times b, so plus 6x. And then plus b squared, so plus 36. By the way, if you want to check over your answer, just distribute and see if you get back to the original problem. But now just make sure you factor it all the way. Can you find two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to 6? No. It's not always no. It is possible that you could get something that you could factor more. But this one's already factored enough. Okay. 125x cubed minus 8. 125x cubed is the perfect cube because it equals 5x times 5x, times 5x. And 8 is a perfect cube because it equals 2 times 2 times 2. Now you're going to factor 5x plus, uh, minus 2 times, here comes the tricky part, times in the formula it says a squared, so it means 5x squared. So what is 5x squared? It means 5x times 5x, so 25x squared. Plus a times b, so plus 10x when you multiply 5x times 2. And then plus b squared, so plus 2 squared is 4. And that is factored all the, row, all the way. Example three, so we got two more. Example three, A and B. Factor each completely. So at first glance, it does not look like we have uh, the sum of two cubes or the difference of two cubes. But we do because we have a GCF. Always check for a GCF first. We talked about that earlier in the year. I think unit three. In this case, a GCF equals seven. So you factor out that 7, I'm guessing it's going to leave us with the sum of two cubes. Let's see. Take out the GCF of 7, and it leaves you with 8x cubed plus 1. 
if you don't know how to factor, look back at my videos from unit three. Okay, unit three we did factoring. I want to say unit three lesson two off the top of my head. But now we have the sum of two cubes because 8x cubed is 2x and 2x and 2x. And one is a perfect cube because it equals 1 times 1 times 1. Now let's factor like we did on the first page. For example, 1, sum of two cubes. But make sure you put the GCF of 7 in the beginning. So 7 times 2x plus 1 times 2x squared, which is 4x squared, minus 2x plus 1. And that is factored completely. And the last problem, example 3b. This one also has a GCF. The GCF is 2x squared. Because they have two x's in common. So 2x squared is a GCF. Back of that out. It leaves you with x cubed minus 8. Which is the difference of two cubes because x cubed is a perfect cube because it equals x times x times x. And 8 is a perfect cube because it equals 2 times 2 times 2. So factor, difference of two cubes, just like we did above in example two. And make sure you write the GCF in the beginning. So 2x squared is GCF. That comes out front still times x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. Okay, so you really want to make sure you, the more perfect cubes you have memorized, the easier it will be for you. Okay, and you definitely have to memorize these two. Okay, that is the end of that lesson, factoring the sum and difference of cubes.